Uh, any questions for Rupal? I can see that Frank has already it, started. It's not really a question, it's asked, it's fully remarked. Uh, it's remarked that the, the procedure is very elegant and very efficient. Congratulations for the surgery. Question really three place eczema laser sooner or later. Maybe it's too early to tell because we are waiting for all the uh, results coming out for different sites. Maybe yes, we'll see. Any more, Jerome? Um, a technical problem that we had with uh, some of the uh, femto. When you have a bridge uh, on, on, a, on a normal flat, it's become difficult. Uh, with this uh, size, if you have a, a, a bridge, uh, how do you manage to cut the bridge on yes. behind to take out that? That's a very pertinent question. If you have an opaque bubble layer, say, then it becomes very difficult to dissect out that plane. But uh, fortunately, I think the energy parameters that have been set and the high frequency and the smaller spot size helps us to avoid this problem. So up till now, I've really not had any case where I have had difficulty in separation right from the beginning. And I've treated even low myopia as low as minus 0.75 diopters with a very thin lenticule, quite superficial. I, I, don't, I usually make a 90 micron cap. I don't really make a thicker flap than that. So it does work well uh, accordingly. The gentleman behind your own. Please. Yeah, a couple of queries about things you said. Um, you uh, you mentioned that the um, the, the femtosecond laser will always cut. You know, it cuts or it doesn't cut. It's always in the same place. <clears throat> I would have thought that if the energy went higher, then the um, energy density required to get electromagnetic breakdown in the cornea would take place at a higher position in the cornea because as the beams focus, you reach that. Uh, that breakdown uh, intensity more quickly. Is that not correct? Uh, it is, uh, I think if I get your um, question correctly, uh, are you trying to say that the predictability of the depth at which you do the procedure? Well, is, um, you uh, said that, that you know, for eczema lasers, if the energy changes, then the, the, of ablation, the, the amount of ablation will change, which I agree with. But I would have thought that if the energy of the femtosecond second beam changes, then the the depth at which you cut would, would change. Not not a lot, but a little bit. Which, when you're talking about just um, ablating a sorry not ablating but removing a um, a, a, a lenticule of uh, of tissue, which is only some tens of microns thick, yeah. it could have some effect. So, if you're talking about the predictability of the depth at which you can go. Uh, we have to consider that we are using the same um, cone and therefore however much uh, you are decentered, the whole lenticule gets decentered either below or above. So the refractor result doesn't suffer. The depth from the anterior part of the lenticule to the posterior part will always be predetermined. Whether you get it at 90 microns or at 100 microns, Maybe that would depend upon the tear film and uh, the energy uh, breakdown, but it would still, the between yeah, two yeah. layers it's going to remain the so same. The, so the whole thing then move yes. up and down, yes. but the thickness but, remains the But the thickness same. remains yeah. okay. what okay. you intend to okay. do. Okay. Quick, very quickly, you, you also said that uh, somebody painted a room nearby and that prevented you from doing eczema laser surgery. Would That wouldn't bother you with the femtosecond laser? No, it wouldn't. Definitely not. We have, uh, yes, uh, from the audience one more, and then it's your turn. Vicente, Rodriguez. Wait, 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 microphone. Uh, Russell, uh, I've been doing in the low myopia, for example, minus uh, 0.75, minus 0 0.50 myopia, with a little uh, astigmatism. It's very good, the result. I think that is very, very interesting. Yes. Uh, for the for the correction of the middle and high myopia, but in low myopia and low in low myopia also the results were the same. Similar. Similar to what you would have with the uh, Do you treat or, or, or re retreat? We need to to go to the surface. Um, for retreatment right now, uh, we could either do a surface ablation or 
there is a, a new circle software which uh, they've been able to devise and I tested it for them just a month back where I treated three eyes. Uh, the circle software allows you to reach the same plane and also go a little beyond so as to create a femtolasic flap. So you could actually open a flap, go to the same plane and do an excitement laser on the bed. Uh, but you still need an excitement laser. Yeah. What we are planning to do uh, or the thing that I have suggested is that uh, since you are delaminating and not really creating a flap here, you could go to a slightly deeper plane. Uh, I've compared 1990 micron cap with 140 microns in the other eye, and I've seen a significant difference in the ORA results uh, with a bias towards uh, better results with 140 microns. So if you can routinely do a cap of 130 to 140 microns, then you could in fact open a whole flap on top, or if it's a small myopia, you could even take another lenticule from the cap itself. Uh, about the preview decoration, what do you think about in the future? You can have a, a profile with this platform for the preview yes, decoration. Yes, uh, towards the end of our study for the 50 patients that we've treated so far for hyperopia, uh, with the newer profiles, the results were becoming more uh, acceptable. Uh, but we had to stop the study because we were coming to an end of those 100 eyes. And then the company wanted to wait to make sure of the profile and again go through the ethics committee and everything is taking a little longer. But I think we would definitely have some solution in future. Thank you. One more question from the audience. <coughs> Uh, fortunately, I did not have any ruptures. Uh, the separation is uh, very easy uh, and uh, there is also a side cut of the lenticule that happens. So when you are actually going in that plane, you tend to separate the same plane and you don't really need to pull out. You can see the edge developing when you actually separate the lenticule. So unless you are sure you have a complete lenticule separated, you should not try to grasp and remove it. But uh, uh, so far, I have not really had a, a tear in the lenticule, even though the lenticule thickness was as low as 30 microns. Final question, Jerome. Uh, thank you for your presentation. I, I had a question about your treatment, but uh, you have already answered. Uh, is the depth of the first plane is the same? Or it, it varies in function of uh, the level of myopia? It would depend upon the level of myopia, the, the posterior yeah. depth that, that yeah. you go to, because uh, the anterior depth can be prefixed. The posterior one would depend upon how much myopia and with what zone are you trying to correct. So it's going to be much deeper. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Rupala, it's been a pleasure. Have a safe trip back to India. Thank you.